everywhere you look, people are talking about consistency, consistency, consistency. And if we're real, we know that it's so important. There's no way around it. If you wanna see results in your skincare routine, you have to be consistent. If you wanna see results in your work life, your relationships, you also have to be consistent. But I'm not gonna sit here and lie that, you know what, summer is on the way. And with that, I'm looking forward to the enjoyment, but I also know that a lot of distractions come with the summertime. So I thought I'd make this video to give you a few tips to help keep you disciplined and reaching your goals, regardless of the good weather that's coming. I am so excited about summer. If you're new here, I'm Kathleen. I'm your Conscious Lifestyle Bestie, and this is the Conscious and Chic YouTube channel. And I wanna welcome you or welcome you back if it's not your first time. This channel is all about leveling up and I think you'll feel right at home. I wanna address the elephant in the room. If I sound a little bit nasal, is because I'm actually getting over a cold that was under the weather, but I'm starting to feel better and I really wanted to get this video out to you guys to help you keep reaching your goals during the summer, but I'm not gonna do a lot of editing. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that it's gonna be minimal editing because I also need to get some rest. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Tip number one, start with what and why. It's really important when you're trying to be disciplined to know your goal and the reason behind it. You wanna set SMART goals, that's an acronym for specific, that's the S, measurable, attainable, realistic, really important, realistic, because being the Lulu is not always a Salulu. And then time bound. You wanna make sure that there's a deadline attached to it. And once you know what you're trying to reach or the area of your life where you wanna be consistent, it's really important to know why and to really have a why that resonates with you on a really deep level, because that's what's gonna keep you consistent when you don't feel like it. That's what it's gonna keep you doing the tasks that are attached to it when you don't wanna do them. And so the why could be more freedom, it could be taking care of your family, it could be maybe achieving better health or better skincare even. So make sure you set a why that's really powerful, that's personal to you, and that you know what goals you're trying to reach. Tip number two is to create systems. People often tell me that I'm disciplined and I think it's because of my systems. I rely on my routines, my checklists, my apps, and I have videos about all of those things. I'll make sure to link them in the description box below. But I'm a firm believer that you can only be as consistent and disciplined as your systems. And so whatever works best for you, whether it's a specific note-taking app or creating checklists on paper, figure out what that is for you. I will tell you mine, the top three every day helps me really focus on what's most important for that day. And then everything else that I do is icing on the cake. But once I have those three things done, I know that I'm making good progress towards my goals. Number two is calendar blocking. I like to set my calendar blocks based on how I feel in different times of the day and the week so that I can make sure that I'm the most efficient that I can be, but also in sync with how I naturally operate. I also use habit stacking. I think it's a great time saver to habit stack. And then the last thing is checklists. I have checklists for any process that I go through more than once. So for instance, YouTube videos, I have a checklist for that because it's the same thing every single time. And so I'm able to save time by having a checklist. It's already set, I can forget it. That's another great thing about systems. You can set them and forget them and just use them. And so I can just do what I need to do without having to think about the order of it. You know what I'm saying. Also, when you're setting a system, you have to keep it simple because if you make it too complicated, too convoluted, it's gonna create a barrier for you to actually use the system. Your system should flow with ease. You should want to use them. Tip number three, combat overwhelm. When you feel overwhelmed, it's really important for you to already know what to do. And I know that can kind of sound counterintuitive because I'm overwhelmed. How do I know what to do when I'm overwhelmed? Well, that's because you set it in a system. It could be a checklist or it can be just steps that you go through. Like for me, if I feel overwhelmed, I brain dump everything, whether it's tasks, to-dos, numbers, or emotions even, I will grab a journal, to write out how I'm feeling, why I'm feeling overwhelmed, so that I can really work through those emotions and move past them. Sometimes you have to ask yourself some questions, like why do I feel overwhelmed? Is it a lack of knowledge? Is it something that I need to delegate? Is it something that has to do with my menstrual cycle? Why do I feel overwhelmed? Am I procrastinating? And if so, is it because I have a lack of knowledge or information that I can go and seek out? Or am I being a perfectionist? And that is what is stopping me from actually 
staying consistent or being disciplined? Am I overthinking this for whatever reason? Being able to journal, write it down, it's gonna help you work through those emotions so you can get over it. Then you wanna fall back on your systems. That's another great thing about systems it is that if you don't feel the sense of motivation to actually move forward or you feel overwhelmed, you can always fall back on your systems and just follow them step by step without even thinking. So make sure you fall back on your systems if you feel overwhelmed and then be kind to yourself and show yourself grace. It's really important to be able to move past overwhelm to just be kind to yourself and say, okay, I felt overwhelmed, I worked through it, moving on, next thing on the list. Hey, real quick, if you're finding this information helpful so far, I wanna invite you to subscribe and join the tribe. Go ahead and click that button and also turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future videos. This channel is all about leveling up, living on purpose and also fun things like fashion beauty food travel and so if this is your vibe go ahead and subscribe Tip number four, read books and never stop learning. Reading books is the smartest way to be mentored by some of the best minds in the world. Think about it. They've taken their knowledge and experience and put it in a book so that you and I could take advantage of that. And if, even if you don't have the budget to buy a bunch of books, pro tip, you can go to your public library and you don't even have to rent the actual books in the library. You can rent them online. Most libraries now, if you have a library card, you can get on different apps where you can just rent books, rent audiobooks. I'm an audiobook girly, but I also sometimes like to read. And if there's a book that really resonates with you that you wanna keep as one of your yearly reads or staples, then you can buy that book. I have five books that I wanna to recommend to you, five productivity books that I've read that I reread often. The first one is Getting Things Done by David Allen. It's a book that's really gonna help you if you're trying to set some systems for yourself and it gives you a framework and it outlines how to create systems. It gives you a specific system that you can decide to use if you want or not but at the very least, it'll help inspire you to create your own system. Next, The One Thing by Gary Keller. This is a great book to help you prioritize and really boil things down to what's most important. He gives you a few questions that you can ask yourself whenever you're looking at a project or a task that are really gonna help you to cut the fat, to get rid of what you don't need to be doing and really focusing on what's gonna help you get ahead in the most efficient, the most fulfilling, and the most result-driven way. Atomic Habits by James Clear is a very popular one here online, as well as the 12-week year. Starting with Atomic Habits is all about habits and routines that helping you figure out what's best for you. The 12 week year by Brian P. Moran. Again, another really popular one. I don't know if I said that your name right, Brian. I'm sorry if I butchered it, but this book is gonna help you make the most out of your year because instead of looking at your goals for the entire year, the book talks about breaking down your year into 12 week runs. And so you really get four years in one year. It's really great, you should read it. And the last book is Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy, great author. And that book is for all my procrastinating girlies. If you procrastinate, Eat That Frog is for you. It's gonna help you be more productive and also get your procrastination in order. Tip number five is be confident. Discipline, consistency, and confidence go hand in hand and it's kind of a, which one came first, the chicken or the egg? It's both. If you're more confident, it will help you be more disciplined and more consistent because you won't overthink too much. You won't procrastinate. You won't delay what you know you need to do. You'll just do it. But at the same time, the more consistent and disciplined you are, the more your confidence will grow because you can trust yourself. You'll feel like whenever I say I'm gonna do something, I actually do it and that will help you be more confident. So it's a loop and it's the gift that keeps on giving because each of those things keep building on each other. And the opposite is also true. Every time that you are inconsistent, that you procrastinate, or you don't do what you said you were gonna do, that also chips away at your confidence. So believe in yourself and know that you can do it and don't allow yourself to make excuses or give yourself other options. And I find that the most disciplined seasons of my life when I was the most confident was when I was not making exceptions and I was not making excuses for myself. No plan B, C, D. We're only sticking to plan A. It's all about plan A, hashtag no excuses. I think that should be a book. I think it is a book. Is it a book? Could be a book. 
I think it, No Excuses is a book and I think I've read it. It could also be on my list actually, but I digress. I did a video about confidence. I'll link it below. I also did a video about habits to help boost your confidence on a daily basis, honey. And I'll put that in the description box as well for you to check out after this video because confidence is a foundational piece of your disciplined girly journey. It's very important for you to be confident and to be intentional about building that confidence. Last thing I'm gonna say about this is whenever you're trying to build a skill, it can be difficult at first, or you can have moments where you fall because hey, we're all human. Nobody's perfect. You're not perfect. We're all just trying to do the best that we can. So if you do become inconsistent in something, acknowledge it and then move past it. Give yourself grace so you can move past it as quick as possible and get back with the program. Before I let you go, I have to give you some next steps. First thing you're gonna do is set a SMART goal for yourself and you can do as many as you want or as you feel that you can handle. Then you're gonna create a system, whether it's a routine, a checklist to help you reach that goal. And then you're going to share this video with someone in your life so you can have an accountability partner. This part is important, it's gonna help you, but it's not like you don't have to have to do it, but I think you should do it if you have somebody in mind. Send them this video so they can be your accountability partner. If you want me to be your accountability, let me know in the comments. Then you're going to do this for 30 days and rinse and repeat and just watch yourself reach your goals. Don't make excuses, give yourself deadlines and get the job done, honey. I believe in you. We are reaching our goals this year and I'm so excited to be on this journey with you. When I saw this message from YouTube today, I was so, so, so happy. We are 500 subscribers strong. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me and being on this channel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Would love to have you be part of the tribe. Also connect with me on social media. Would love to see you there. And until my next video, remember to stay conscious and chic. Bye. Mwah. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I've been recording this video, this entire video in slow motion. But that's okay. I am not gonna make an excuse for why I'm not gonna post this video on time. I am gonna re-record it right now and come hella high water, I'm gonna post it.